Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Ron in here, and welcome back to some StarCraft 2. Today, we're going to have another match from the UCAP versus AFK Clan War. So, in the bottom left corner, we are going to have the Purple Zerg, AFK's Tactile, or Tactical. I'm pretty sure that's Tactile. And in the top right corner, UCAP's own the Blue Protas, Schmirk. So let's watch as these guys go head to head here on daybreak and see who takes home the grand prize as it will be. <coughs> grand prize being a uh, victory in this match. Yep. A <laughs> uh, fairly early scout out here by Schmirk. Gonna pop across the field. Obviously uh, knows exactly where his enemy is, but wants to know if Tactile's up to any kind of early aggression. Uh, you know, obviously, if he's up to a six pool or a ten pool or any of those pooling necessities, uh, which obviously aren't coming, I would expect a fast expand out of Tactile. And uh, for the moment, Schmirk uh, threw his pylon actually down here. Uh, not a position I'm completely used to, uh, but also an okay position. Uh, he's probably planning on a fast expand of his own and uh, can put up some sort of forge wall or gateway wall down there. And there is the pool for Tactile going on 13. Uh, not too out of the ordinary there. And uh, trying to grab a fast expand. A little bit of blocking done by Schmirk. Uh, but Tactile can now grab it, but he doesn't have the minerals. He didn't have the minerals earlier either. Uh, we can see Schmirk is saving up for his uh, expansion. And uh, just about there. Probe gets the vision it needs in the main, pulls back out, probably going to go back for the block again, and gets there just in time. Tactile just got the money to do it, and uh, he goes ahead and spends that on a Lings and a Queen. So, having successfully blocked that expansion uh, for Tactile for quite a while, looks like we just got an extractor trick out of Tactile, and uh, Schmirk is starting off the uh, kind of wall off down at the bottom of the ramp. <coughs> and of course a nice little pylon block by Schmirk he uh, did get the probe out of there as well and he's gonna know those lings are on the way uh, but also knows he has a slight advantage at the moment as he has successfully blocked that expansion for a while however he is supply blocked and uh, there are six lings on the way uh, but this cannon actually is gonna easily defeat that and uh, as long as it's up in time which it might not be. If these lings go straight for it, run straight into the base, uh, they might... Oh, no, they're not going to get in because that wall off... Oh, but they go for the probe. They actually could have gotten in. Uh, but they didn't go for it. Probe's off the line. Actually unnecessary at this time. And they're already going to go back as that cannon's done. Uh, another pylon going on. That's going to complete the wall off there. And the lings are essentially worthless at this time. Uh, however, mining can't really happen here for now, so the Lings are at least doing something. They're halting the usefulness of that expansion at this time. However, Smirk down here with a little bit of cannon rushing, um, I, I, I assume that's still cannon rushing, I'm going to call it such. Uh, he's going to cause this expansion for Tactile some serious business here. And actually what I really like is he built the two cannons and he left. And with only Lings, uh, Tactile is not going to be able to keep this expansion. That natural will go down unless he gets crazy and tries to get a bunch of roaches or something in time. But uh, with two cannons up, that just isn't going to happen. Uh, oh, wow. The Lings got in there and chased all the probes out of the main. And now Schmirk's going to lose his main. Uh, although a bunch of probes and a Zealot coming up, a couple Lings or one Ling went down. And uh, even with that one zealot and all the drones or probes there, uh, there is going to be issues for the Zergling. It's not going to be guaranteed victory here for them anymore. And it looks like they must have just gone for the run and uh, run past that cannon. And Schmirk continuing like this is his land. He is building an assimilator. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see more of that come out of him. He does have two zealots up here and uh, a third one on the way now as well. And more and more lings are going down. These lings are just not getting the effectiveness they need. The natural four tactile has been destroyed. Uh, we have another overlord coming in. He's not going to do anything. And the lings are all but gone. There's one left. Unfortunately, just not going to cut it. 
kind of went for a suicide mission there, and Tactile lost everything up north. And suddenly, Tactile is in a very, very bad situation. He's running off one extractor. He does have a Roach Warren, but what can you really do off one base Zerg? Especially on a, te or a Protoss that's already sitting on two base. Mind you, Schmirk doesn't have a Cyber Core yet. Obviously doesn't have Warp Gate because of that. Uh, but he is running off three gas very soon. In fact, make that four. Double bases. He has a good probe count. And nice cannons for defense. Schmirk is starting to look in very good position. And this little attack by Tactile might be his last effort or, or last real chance to get in this game. Uh, because he obviously can't expand here. He needs to grab a different natural. There he has grabbed this expansion all the way over there. That is a... Uh, a little farther than I would have chosen, but then again, this one up here is quite a distance as well. And uh, Cannon's pretty much holding off this attack for now. It is only two cannons, and the Roaches can get in there. The Zealous should probably move in to try and defend that cannon. You don't want to lose it. And a Stalker finally out by Schmirk. And uh, gonna go in here for the defense again. At least one, ooh, the cannon goes down. And uh, it's starting to get a little more hairy for Schmirk than he would have expected it to be however he's gonna have the income at the moment the tactile just cannot touch and uh, I would expect warp gate once warp gate gets done it's gonna get very dirty for tactile however Schmirk is going to need more gateways and there of course are a few up here on the way uh, Roach is moving in continuing to attack the links got completely sauced Zealot going crazy in there takes down a couple roaches before he himself goes down and a couple stalkers uh, they want to be careful about these roaches the roaches are of course the counter to the stalker uh, so they got to continue to micro get in and out of there and uh, we got more roaches on the way as well uh, tactile is kind of making this an all-in he knows that he was hurt severely in the beginning and had stand a chance he needed to apply direct pressure to schmirk and he has done it and uh, it's really starting to look bad for Schmirk. Obviously, the Immortal here is going to greatly help. And it, this might be it. The Roaches are completely going for it. Oh, but they're getting killed off so quickly. The Immortal doing so much damage. And the Roaches are gone. And it suddenly looks bad for Tactile. Now, Warp Gate is done. Quite a few more Stalkers warping in. Um, another Immortal on the way. In fact, almost done. Overlord's going down. Tactile's going to get Supply blocks right there. And a few more units moving in, but if these don't do it, I see a few more warpins for Smirk coming in, and he, Smirk will just run over Tactile. It's going to get sour really quick for him, especially with two Immortals on the field. The Lings come up quickly, disintegrated by the Stalkers. Five Roaches are not going to take down two Immortals, six Stalkers, and three Sentries. Those guys are sauced in the face so quickly. And, uh, tactile is just getting it's just so behind he has not really been able to recover unfortunately Schmirk was just in such a good economic situation he was able to hold the line and just produce mass amounts of tech and forces now look at this six sentries eight stalkers and three immortals plus a probe coming in who's gonna throw down a proxy pylon be able to warp in even more units this is just going to roll over Tactile unless he can find some sort of desperate maneuver uh, that can save him this game. A few Stalkers down here getting a little cocky. Going to get surrounded by the Lings. Ooh, they do finally move out. Nice little bit of micro by Schmirk. Going to get those guys out of there. Probably run back to the cannons and should survive. And in fact, the Lings are going to pull off. No Ling speed on, speed on the field uh, just yet. It is about to finish. Yeah, that Roach has had better days. And, uh, oh, a few warpins off the cannon pylon. Very nice. Forgot about that guy down here. And suddenly this force is just ridiculous. Tactile is out. He has no chance at this point. Drones off the line trying to do what they can. They'll probably get one. Nope, not even going to get that guy. Trying to do their work. Trying to go after the Immortal, actually. The Immortal does go down. A few force fields blocking a few lanes here and there. But that is going to do it. Tactile calls the GG and uh, drops game. Congrats to you, Cap Schmirk, for pulling off the nice victory, that early harass. In fact, this little cannon rush, if you want to call it that, uh, even a cannon contain, not even contain, it was just a natural cannon harass. That's what I'll call it. Uh, it was very nice. 
And uh, that probably, taking out that natural that early definitely won the game for him. Either way, congrats to Schmirk. Uh, and as I've said, guys, I've got a few more replays from this clan war that I do plan to feature. And uh, please do thumbs up and subscribe so we can bring you more StarCraft II content. And if you want me to cast your StarCraft II games, you can send them to Zorondon at gmail.com. It's in the information below. And uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Once again, I am Zorondon. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the other side.